like a hell cut. Hello and welcome back to the channel where it's time for another video. Now, many people who've watched my videos will know that I've been trying to get a cable for the Sega Saturn that outputs are RGB and displays the image at the correct size on a HD TV. That has been it. The ones that display it in RGB, unfortunately, all zoom and crop the screen. So it's blown up slightly and that means the top and the bottom is cropped off. I've not found one that hasn't done that. And the ones that display it at the correct size don't display it in R RGB. So they only display the image in composite or S video quality. Even the Rad 2X was like this. That was meant to be the best one and it displayed it lower quality image. It was not RGB, despite what people try and say. Definitely wasn't. So that went back. So I've still been using my old Intec gaming cable because that's one that does display it in RGB, but it does crop, unfortunately, the bottom and the top of the screen. So when Keiko came up with the Sega Saturn line doubler cable, which it can also be used on the um, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD 32X, um, Mega Drive and the Mega CD as well, if you've got those. So it's a multi-system um, one. I was thinking, you know, maybe this is going to be the solution. It outputs in RGB and it outputs in composite. So surely this should be the cable to go. I'm going to show you what's inside the box. Literally only got it earlier on. So you get your adapter and then your three separate cables for the different systems. Basically, these plug into the system that you've got and then this plugs into the other end. And then you get your very small instruction booklet. Literally, it's like a page of English, a page of German, not much on there at all. Your little card to register your warranty. Yeah, 12 month warranty. And you get a USB power cable because it needs to be plugged in to a power supply to work. And also you have to use this if you want to update the firmware on the PC, you have to use your PC to update the firmware so that it's the most up to date, basically. And then you can, you've got an option menu that you can set on the PC as well. So let's go and take a look at the Keiko cable in action. The big questions are, can it output RGB and can it deliver the correct screen size as well? Let's go and find out. So as you can see from the footage, I'm not actually gonna just set it up on my recording device. I'm actually gonna record it live so everybody can see what it looks like. I'm just going to change the channel, get it on the right channel. HDMI one. Let's turn the Saturn on and find out. Whoa, that's not a good start. Uh, oh, well, that's a really bad start. Let's press the button on the thing. So at the moment, this is set on, set on the default, which I think is RGB with smoothing on. If I change it. Oh my God. What on earth? We had sound. Let's change it again. This is RGB pass through. Okay, that sucks. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is really promising, isn't it? Fiddle with the cable. Oh, we got some picture on a composite, but the colors are all wrong. And we've got a bar down the side of the screen. Oh my word, if you just touch the cable, it's really loose. It's really bad fitting. Oh my God. This is not promising is what this is. Everything is plugged in properly. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is not um not what I was expecting at all. Is the power supply plugged in yet? Yeah, USB power supply is plugged in. It's plugged into the back of the Saturn. The cable is really loose, the adapter. Oh, if I hold it. This is on uh, RGB, so that is, <laughs> RGB image is all, it's just completely discolored, and we've got a bar down the side of the screen. This is RGB without the smoothing. No, that's not blue. 
Well, if I let go of the cable, it just does that. This is truly, uh, <laughs> oh my word. It's on blue, so this is composite, but you've got to literally hold the cable to get an image. Well, yeah, you can tell that's composite because it's all uh, not sharp, shall I say. This is just a joke, I'm not gonna lie. That's composite with smoothing. This next one, that's composite without smoothing and it looks identical. Then the next one is composite pass-through mode if it comes on. Well, it looks exactly the same. But green is meant to be RGB with smoothing, red RGB with no smoothing and purple RGB pass-through. So this is RGB with smoothing. Oh, the bars disappeared on that one, but it's completely miscolored. Makes no difference. And then RGB pass through. Oh, that gets the bar. And yeah, as soon as you let go of the cable, it just loses signal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fill with change color now. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with it on the computer, change the settings, and then I will record some more footage or give a summary afterwards showing my, um, if I've managed to sort it out or anything. So there you have it. Unfortunately, it appears that either my cable is duff or it just doesn't work in RGB for whatever reason. I went through every single option that I could on the PC. Obviously, the downside was if you've got it plugged into your TV and your TV's not next to your PC, you need a massive long mini USB to USB adapter to be able to have it plugged into the PC to power it and change the options whilst you're playing a game, which is really frustrating and really, really irritating. So I was taking it from one, taking back to the other, tried changing all the color settings and everything. It just couldn't be done. That bar down the side of the screen, doesn't matter if you moved it to the left or the right, it would always be down one side of the screen. Either, either, either one, it was really frustrating. The overall picture quality as well, even though it was all purple colored, you could tell it wasn't as good as my cheap Intech gaming cable. So I really don't know what to say because I was hoping that this was going to be like the solution. I've gone through changing all the color options. And if you've got it in RGB mode, you cannot get it to display the correct colors. Everything is purple. And I don't know why. If you put it on composite, yes, you can get the right colors. But obviously the picture quality is crap. It's not what you want. So... It's really confusing. I don't know why. I've not found any information out from briefly looking on the internet either. So it's really, really um, frustrating. Maybe I've just been sent a bad one. I've no idea. It was from someone selling one individual one on eBay. It cost me 40 quid. So I don't really know what to say. Has anybody, um, anybody out there watching this got one of these? And got it set up on a PAL system. You know, mine's a PAL system. It's not an NTSC one. And this says it supports PAL and NTSC, both of them. So that's not the reason. I don't get it. Unless, like I said, it's a faulty cable. Um, it's really frustrating. It really, really is. I was thinking this was going to be my solution that I wanted. But I guess, unfortunately, not. And the search goes on that is it for today like i said if anybody's got one of these and they've got it working displaying rgb let me know how to do it because i'm completely baffled at the moment that is it for today thank you for watching and i shall be back soon for another video goodbye for now